those before we leave are very practical. You've got a decision to make in about 10 days. If you think this system is at this point even going to let Donald Trump get anywhere near the White House, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes. See, from uh, civil cases to state prosecutions to federal prosecutions to now not even prosecutions at all, taking him off the ballot and otherwise, I've opposed these unconstitutional measures, but we have to open our eyes and not fall into the trap that's been laid for us either. America first is bigger than one man. It does not belong to Donald Trump just as it does not belong to me. It belongs to you, to us, to we people in this country. It did not begin in 2016. It began in 1776. Yeah. And we owe it to our founding fathers to make sure we have another 250 years yet left to go. I'm here to make sure that we do. What would I tell the young people? It will take somebody... You know, like Thomas Jefferson, who was 33 when he wrote the Declaration of Independence and invented the swivel chair while he was at it. He was the guy who actually got this started in 1776. I think now we live in a 1776 moment where it will take somebody whose best days in life are still yet ahead. And I don't take that for granted. I'm grateful for every day that God gives me and gives our family and gives each of us to live. But I hope they are. Somebody whose best days in life are still yet ahead. To see a country whose best days are still ahead of itself. That I owe it to you to make sure you don't grow up with $200,000 of debt on your shoulders that you didn't sign up for. That you don't end up with somebody else's gun over your shoulder in somebody's trench halfway around the world fighting somebody else's war. I owe that to you as the next generation. And I view that as my responsibility, and God willing, I'll still be around for you to hold me accountable to make sure I did that job. 